Hello, and welcome back to the Zen Garden channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy our content. Today, I am showing you my journey with propagating my sedum adolfi after it died. Every video, I show pictures of a more unusual plant and then reveal the name on my next video. I do this in hopes that people discover plants they have never seen before and get to know their beauty. So if you have a super rare plant that we can show, get in touch and we can make your plant famous. Let's check out our last one. This time we have a Aloenopsis lacophi. This is a species of succulent plant in the genus Aloenopsis native to South Africa. It's a low growing plant that grows in a rosette of leaves close to the ground. It has angular leaves that are covered by small white tooth-like protrusions. Now to the propagation. Few months back, I bought this gorgeous sedum adolfii. All went well for a few weeks until I decided that I should separate the three head and give each one their own pot. Why did I do that? I have no clue. I guess I thought it was a good idea at the moment. So few days passed, and one day I noticed that in two of them, all the leaves had fallen off. Until today, I am not sure why it happened. They looked healthy, green, and strong leaves, water only once a week. At the time, I thought maybe they did not get enough light, although I did not see any signs at all. Picked two of the best leaves and left them on the top of the soil of another pot I have. For this ones, I watered the plant in the pot once a week as normal, and the little offsprings just took off. Moved on, around two weeks later, we went on holidays for around ten days. Watered all my plants very well before I left, and off I was. Came back to find the third sedum adolfi had followed the same destiny as the other two. Again, no signs of any stress and decided to try and propagate from the leaves. Not a lot of experience with propagating, so I googled the best way, and like everyone I found so many different answers. Decided to put some of the leaves in a paper towel that I would make sure to keep it moist, and some other leaves just air and left both by the windowsill. Lost a few leaves in the process, but many of them have a little rosette now, and the first two are now baby succulents. So, for the ones on the paper towel, they developed roots faster than the other ones. I would wet the paper towel every two or three days depending on the temperature. Recently, as some of them were starting to have long roots, I put them all in a shallow pot on top of the soil. They are still in the same windowsill, and I spray some water with a small bottle every time I feel it dry. Not much as the roots are still just at the surface. Every now and then we lose another leaf, but as long as some of them survive, I'm happy. There are three different leaves there, Honestly, I am not sure what are they yet. Found them fallen off at the plant shop and decided to see if they would propagate. Some little pink roots have developed since I brought them in. Fingers crossed that we make some beautiful plants from these. I'll keep posting updates on the babies. If you enjoy our videos, consider leaving a like and subscribing our channel. Thank you for sticking around and watching. Before we leave, let's check out a new Who Am I plant. If you know what genus or species this plant belongs to, let us know in the comments below. See you soon.